our anchor scripture still remains the book of Proverbs 31. From my sight to the women, Proverbs 31, verse 10. Proverbs 31, verse 10. I will start my own from that side. And like we did in the first service, we first many start to the, uh, the, the singles. I will do that again this second service. We want to let them know some of the things they need to put in place before they move on. You know, um, like where we're about to read, if we don't put the right principle, it may not work. And that's the reason why we want to first address the youth so that it will be easy to build a good foundation for marriage. Praise God. And um, we'll read the, uh, the scriptural passage later. But let me first address the youth. I said here that I would like to talk to us on how to put the foundation in right position. Last week, I was able to explain one or two things to us about what we're supposed to do as a, a lady, as a woman to be. And uh, very soon, some of us, somebody will start calling us mommy. Mommy Lagbaja. And that means it's to take a long, you know, uh, uh, it will be a, uh, a, a mighty load on us by that time. So that it will not be as if we are not prepared. That is the reason why we want to tell you one or two things that you need to put in place. I wrote here, I said, you save your marriage by yourself. You are the one who can determine how your marriage will be. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? You are the one that will determine whether it will be sweet or it will be turbulent. It will be something very hard that everybody will be coming and to settle case with you every time in your marriage. So put the foundation right. The Bible says when the foundation of a thing is destroyed, what shall the righteous do? And I make a point last week. I said, if, where did you meet your husband? To some of us, I said, we met our husband, some of us, you know, in a disco party. Some of us, maybe in a uh, uh, maybe wedding or something like that. And I like this girl. Can I get her contact? And that's how the whole thing went on. Till we get, you know, engaged and we decided to go on with our life. Do you know something that, and I was saying it last week, and Papa came up the, the first service to put more light on it. But I want to go back to it so that I can explain better. In the sense that you can't meet a man in a, in a clubhouse eh, and you expect him to do well, to follow you to the church. He's used to that lifestyle. I told him. Uh, it may even be in the church. But it needs to do about you coming down. Check the person very well before you move on. Because meeting each other at the clubhouse or in the church or maybe in a, a friend's house or maybe in the school or one thing or the other is number one face. Yes, facial appearance. I just like her shape. I like the way she looks like. But it's more than that when you decided to get married to each other. The beauty will fade. Every other thing will go away. But the coco ganga ganga that needs to be in that person's life, you have not really worked on it. And that's the reason why we have decided to put up this program so that we all can benefit from it. If you will get it right before marriage, you will enjoy your marriage. But if you don't get it right from the beginning, it will be very difficult. I said, a man that does not know how to pay bills before getting married to him. We don't know how to, how to pay bills when two of you get married. We should try to understand that to all our singles. And I was making some kind of, you know, examples to my husband when we were both preparing for this meeting. I said, I have so many reasons. So many, uh, uh, will I say, so many examples of people I should show us. I won't mention names. But which we know 
that the marriage will not work. I am not the wife. But me as seeing the man you want to marry, somebody will know that this man will not be a good man. And no shall run him over. There are so many cases we have handled in 23 years of ministry that we know that the outcome of this marriage will be will be uh, will be hell on heart. And you will still be calling the attention of the person involved. Wait, hold on, check this person. The person will be telling you, there by the in church. So many people have left our church because of that. And I told my husband, keep quiet. Look, be watching video. So at times my husband will say, part one, part one. When it gets to second part, we say well, they are in part two. You know, when we when you watch film videos, you will say part one. Honeymoon. Hey, the two of you yourself that you can't say that you will be ashamed. That if I know I won't have put my mouth. Thinking that's how it will continue. But the green light is showing that something is wrong somewhere. But it's because we cannot wait, especially we ladies. And I'm talking to ladies here this, after, uh, this morning stroke afternoon. Hold on. Because if the foundation is wrong, to build on it will not be easy. The more you are building on it, the more it will be collapsing. You will not be asking what is going on. I wrote some examples here. I say in marriage, you cannot change a person. Some of us will marry a an unbeliever, a drunkard. You know that he drinks outside. When two of you we are still dating, you have met him several years drinking. At yo. But you decided to go on. Some of us were well, already married. We know them before we decided to go on with our marriage. We decided that it would change. Is that not what we normally say? Tobaya, my mulo church, I changed. But up to now, you are surprised that the person refused to change. He cannot change. Except God comes in to intervene. Eh, eh, Agbadu, tonton mama nyon, titi to mafi straighten me. So watch before you put your head into such marriage, into such relationship. Some of us were hungry last week when I told you, I met my husband in the church. We were both workers. We were serving God together. Yes. In continuing in more And I'm trying to tell you that you can correct your own mistake if you are not yet married. But for some of us who are already married, bash mama learning. Except the person to ba ba olorun pade. We o ba bo olorun pade be se mama jo se learning. So, it's an opportunity for all the young ones here to look very well. Before you dive into that, into that relationship. I wrote something here. I have a sister. A friend or family. Let me put it that way. I could remember then. My own husband. Because I am the last among six. Anytime we are at home. My, you know, being the last born. And I stay with my, my senior brother. There won't be water at home. We live in a place that we normally fetch water. Please, brothers, listen to this. And all our sisters, listen well. And uh, before the program, in the evening, I'll tell my brother, I'll be going for fellowship. I got born again when I was 11. I think I was in GS1. I was going to be GS2 then. And uh, he said, you like going to church too much. My, my brother will be fighting me for going to church. But I thank God that today I am a testimony. So, he will say, okay, when are you going to fetch water? When I come back, I will fetch. So after the fellowship, I will go back home. And the brother I'm about to get married to will follow. I have so many of them. And that's the reason why you should be very careful. People won't rush here, guru guru. Or santo wa loke. Toti kon. Kosi bo anche ni jun kon si. Everybody, like the fruit here. So many people want to, if you see it, toba kon. And one more kick, I'll come back. I go like They will be throwing stones at it. People will come. I have so many of them. But one of them, the only thing he does is to protect me. And which is ever, he's protecting me for his, his pastor. That's our pastor here. 
because we were very close. He knows everything about me. So everything he, he normally he will come around. Sign me, but when he day, can I go? Can I come? He he will greet me. You know, normally he will stay around. Nobody return here. Yeah, 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 for he's ready to cut them now. Do you understand? It has been like that right from the beginning. Only that when Yahweh okay, came, he separated us. Oh, Yahweh is not here. I have to give them chance so that they can relate. But he has been like that right from the beginning. So, anytime I'm at home like that, I will fetch water. As I'm joining it, maybe once a while, these are the things you sisters should watch. A responsible man will show some, will, will show some sign that will make you to know that he is responsible. So, as I'm fetching, I will have put water at the bucket outside. Marty fetches in way. At times, he may come around to come and grace. He will join me. He will fetch the old water inside. I hold that one in my left hand. I want to load you all up. They will come around. But some of them will sit down and be watching me. In one part, they can't make a good husband. Because one fish up by you. Watch it when you want to marry that man. The person you are getting eh, eh, we are engaged, he cannot lift a bucket. He allows you to fetch everything. Do you know? Today, by June 20, our marriage will cost clock 20 years. I have never in my life carried water. On my head. My husband, have, he has never allowed me to do that. Please put your hands together for my husband. And one thing he will always say is that, me obey, ko wa ma ba me kwa me. He will carry the bucket when he said, so, so a responsible man, right from the beginning, he will ask him more. That this one, ko le shoko gidi. He needs, eh? We now have, and I have somebody that normally come for one of our sisters. My si that sister will be the one, be running around. Ha, ah, my, my fiance is around. Let me go and cook for him. He will be looking for money to go and cook. The brother will cross his leg. Do you know that's the same way he's doing till now? He cannot make a good husband because that is the beginning from, that's how he has been right from the beginning. Look before you leave. Don't marry a man that cannot pay. That can, in fact, I will not be watching him. My, that our sister here eh, will keep egg. If we have yam in the house, I say cause Because that man is coming to come and see her. That has been their style till now. A responsible man, eh? If he has been paying bills before you get married to them, they will continue like that. But if you have been the one financing a man. Right from the, uh, the time you are cutting. That's how you will continue. Because Kony Molara, don't marry somebody eh, that will be a burden on you. See, and one thing I said here, which I will explain to the marriage, we, they call us helpers. Helper to me, Tabi. You will help yourself before you help somebody. So look very well so that you will not be a problem to yourself later. Watch that man. To all sisters, I'm not talking to brothers, so sisters, watch the brothers. A brother that is coming to your house every time he's only with one trouser. And you see, allow him. It's true now. Even when you are working, you should buy things. These are the things you should look at. These are the things we should look out for. Don't just close your eyes and say, he loves me. He loves me. He loves you. It will not continue that way. The love will disappear. By the time you are pregnant of the first child. Oh, no, no, no. He's a Muslim. But he, he said he will allow me to, to be going to church. Don't forget that Muslims, they are men. They will marry another one who, about you, they will go and marry another. So don't say, I will convert him. You are not in the position to change any man. So have 
that at the back of him. He is not going to church, but it doesn't disturb me of going to. Though they are Christ, they have Christian background. If he's not going to church before, he will not follow you. So many of us, we are into it now. We are married. We understand what I'm saying. So our youth don't make mistake. Question. Ah, okay. Let me quickly rush this so that Papa can come up. So you are not to change a man because you are not their God. Until when God comes into the issue, you can't change the person. So have that at the back of your mind. Praise God. So before marriage, open one eye in prayer and look with another eye as you are praying. You close your eyes. The other eyes is open. I told my husband, I said, thank God. There's a particular person that used to come in those days. Ever chase this person, chase the person. He refused to go. He said, child of God like me too. But Eva would say, Mama, sister M is Mori be any she won one go boba. Kilo feno. Muni and go see pastor in feno lufe. I say ko le dura ile yo le shock gidi. Do you understand? we we discuss at length, but the point is I am picking some of the kind of character that can that will be useful later in my life. I have for once never go back and tell them, marriage you sweet. The journey is rough. The man is beating me. The man does not want to allow me to walk. The man, he has never happened before. So, sisters here this morning, look very well. Six packs, teddy bear, good looking, sporting wave, dreadlock, all those things. Now only fake who? Fine boy, no rich anywhere. You have seen a man. There was somebody I met, one of my classmates, we met yesterday, and she was telling me, the man will be bringing another woman. You are not yet married. You met another lady inside his house. Maybe they are having sex. Or you saw the way they are doing. Oh, she told her, I will manage him. I will manage him. I will manage him. The woman manage and manage till when they get married, the man will bring another lady inside their matrimonial bread. One my banana wants to know Pugara, who my joke would deny Palo. And they are, say, yeah, so many of us allow that. Or okay, Hako. It happens with, to somebody that is close to me. And by then, you see, say, we will marry, I will manage him. Oh, one do it by. You have seen the green light on the way. Why do you go ahead? What's your way? It doesn't matter. Wait for your right man. Because that's how you will manage him till the end of, or else you will divorce. And God says, I hate. Why to tell you? Tell Don't bother yourself. Somebody eh, oh, she mistake. Moti, eh, the first eh, the first get of long for eh, me was a mistake. Second one, it, it, it's a mistake. The person will not be putting hand for you. It's a mistake. It's just my baby mama. And you still go ahead and say you will marry the person. You, in control, I want to marry you. It's not a cause. Because you want to manage the man. The man is, you, you are not the one who can change a man. Get it right now. As a man, you can't change a woman. As a woman, you can't change a man except God. So don't go put your head into what you know you cannot continue to manage. Because please let's get it right. And I pray in Jesus' name, the Lord will help us. We'll not make mistake in the name of Jesus. Let me leave that part and let's move on. To the married. I have two women I will show us this afternoon. As a woman, you are the help to meet. In, Je in Proverbs 31, verse 13 to verse, I mean verse 10. The Bible says, we are, the woman is a righteous woman. He helped the man. He, again, the man is clinical. But verse 13, I want to show you. Let's see verse 13. That's where I want to bring the first point to the married. Verse 13. She seeketh wool and flax and walketh willingly with her hands. Verse 14. She is like a merchant ship. She bringeth her food from afar. And verse 15, verse 15, she reacheth also while it is yet night, and giveth meat to her household, and a portion to her medians. Now, 
I want to show us something from this scripture to the marriage. That as a woman, you are apt to miss, like according to Genesis. Why do we employ house I say I will use that as an example for us this afternoon. The Bible says, I will provide for him an help meet, suitable. If you read that scripture, an help meet. The reason why we employ Alzef is for them to help us. Do you know from this scripture this morning, early morning, I discovered that they created women as help. House help. It was this morning I saw that. Look at, go and search the scripture. I used the scripture and that was what they wrote. I said, ah, no wonder that the men will be waiting. Help me to carry my hand. Help me to carry my neck. Help me to carry my leg. So it has been there. Now, the point I want to bring out, it, and how Zeb cannot tell you, mommy, omi tegwele not yo, elo gwe omi, is it possible for an Zeb to do that? Won't be that. Ah, mommy, Come and sweep it. Show possible. Won't be that. Now, somebody they called and help me must be strong enough to help another person. And that is the, the, the area of finance I was talking about last week. See, we use a woman in 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1 to 7 as an example. She's a, she's, a, she's a wife of a prophet. The Bible says, and the prophet died. Because of her time, I won't be able to open it. The Bible says, and the prophet died. She now went to the servant of God and tell the pastor, Pastor, uh, please, my husband, your, 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 uh, uh, your servant is dead. And you know my husband feared the Lord. But the creditor has come to take away our two sons. If you can see the scripture, you can put it on the screen. He said, and they want to take the, the sons away. The man asked the question, what do you have in the house? Do you know it's because the woman has not been helpful. She has not been useful in the house. That was the reason the man decided to go out to go and borrow money. Like what I said last week. That don't put unnecessary burden on your husband. The burden was so much on the man that the man had to die. Being a prophet. And at the end of the day, he used the two sons as a collateral. They now asked a question from the woman. What do you have in the house? She said, I have a little hoy. The servant of God said, go and carry the hoy. Pour it. Do this. Do that. And go and sell. And I asked a question in the morning. So if, if they did not tell her to go and sell, she would have remained like that. They would have carried the two sons. Women, you see that financially, you need to help the man. Papa said something when he was coming up in the first service. That if the man did not meet you working, have, earning your own money, it would be a disaster. Don't just go to the husband's house empty-handed. Nothing. Useless. And the man will be looking more like a woman. Be hard-working. She she get any ego mo ko o she she. Do you know the reason why we are having problem now? The reason why so many wives, the husband will say, "Me onipa, he must not do this, he must not do that." Is because he did not meet you working. Now you want to work. He believes that all the money you are earning or you are seeing is from his pocket. He wants to block you. So that it will not continue like that. Be hard working. You are an help me. Help me in the aspect of what? Finance. Be strong financially. As a help to me, you must be strong by yourself. Let your husband meet you working as sin. Let him see that you are not a, a lazy woman. Let's see that proverb from verse, uh, from verse 16. I want to show you something because a question came up and says, can a woman buy land from her own money? Verse 16. Hey, Papa, you will answer this one. Can a woman buy land? And my answer is proverb Chapter six, uh, chapter thirty-one, verse sixteen. Please open the open the scripture. Let's see it. Who is giving us? She considered a field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hands, she planted a vineyard. Somebody say, Ma "Mama said we should put all our money to our husband." Yes and no is in two ways. You got married to somebody that you know that. You are not the whole thing. You are, you are, you are, Papa said I should not use that word. How will I now use it? Yeah. 
multiple partners. And you want to show him everything about you. Do you think you are safe? No. In the sense that Nkonwa at Nkomi, is it not different? He has about three wives. He has about five or six buildings. She mokwe nkonwa ni. Ninye. But you are the only wife. Kini, kini. Toba ni anything. Nkonta ni. Nkomi. So, Wisdom is applicable to the earth. In this kind of issue now, somebody asks that question, can a woman buy land? Yes. But with question mark at the back. I used myself to preach for you last week. But this week, I am using another person to preach because I have seen so many things. After buying everything, the day the man died, about three wives came and they are claiming all oh, that the man owns. I am the first wife. The second one came, I am the second wife. Where is our own? The third wife. You did not tell anybody. He said, I don't know how to say it. I, only, I later discovered that he has about two with children. In such a case, you can't put everything down. Like I said, Fiokolo, Fishi, and have somebody that you can confide in, especially a mentor or a pastor that you would let know. Because later if the man gets to know that you have something somewhere, he may feel bad. And I wrote another one. You can buy while you are still single. But before you tell the man, see that he is responsible and he is not a jealous type or a gold digger. One of our sisters, before she got married here, she told us she had something like this, and so, 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 a project she, that is going on. And we told her, tell the man. First, look at him. Is he, a, is he the person that you can follow? We cannot choose for you. You know him. But let him know you have so, so, and so, so thing. Because later when you develop the place, so that you will not feel bad. And to the married, seek counsel and apply wisdom. Hallelujah. You say, hey. Second question. My husband does not want me to have money or savings of my own. The moment, the moment he knows I have money, he leaves all responsibility on, uh, um, to me until I spend all. And I said something here. Assuming the, man, the woman, Proverbs 31 woman, assuming the man has been collecting all her money, she won't see land or field to buy. She won't put anything on it. Our husband. Because I preached last week. Don't now capitalize on that and say, what in the you can marry. No savings in this house. Show me everything. I wrote something here that if Papa don't allow me to have my own savings, how will I be able to help him in the raining days? When there will be nothing to, to save the family. And I wrote something. He has never for once checked my phone for the alert. All the money coming into my account. That is number one. If I tell him I'm saving so and so, so thing, so and so thing, I have the confidence to tell him, I have this, I have this, I do this, I do that. He has never for once tell them, Hello, me, by, 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 He has never happened before. He has never done that before. Allow them to have savings so that they can help you. And women, I rest my case. Questions? Hello, my Praise the Lord. Have you learned something? Now listen, whatever you have learned, uh, it's not learning that is important. It's applying. Now she spoke on three major things. I want to quickly tell you before I just give you some instructions on the one I for you this more afternoon. Uh, while you are dating, like she said, look well. There are so many, just like what I told you in the first service. 
uh, Samson took time to observe that Timnath girl. And the Bible says, she pleased me before he went further. Now, listen, nobody is going to force you. And don't let anyone force you into marriage. I'm still talking about the new youth. If, until you are satisfied, don't go and attach yourself, either legally, customary, uh, customarily, or uh, spiritually, to anybody. If you are not satisfied, don't agree. Relationship can break. It is only marriage that must not break. Relationship can break until you are satisfied. Don't sold your relationship together. She says something I want you to take note of. A man that is not used, used to paying bills on the way. Do you think he will pay bills when you get married? He won't pay it. He has never been responsible. He won't with the mind. You are the one buying his shirt, buying his shoe, buying everything when dating. As a girl, you will buy perfume for him. And he will not respond once to even say, okay, this is my uh, uh, wife-to-be. Let me even do something. These are things you watch. She also says something I also want you to take very, very note of. Please don't forget this. Now, when you are married to a man and you notice that this man is not your, your man. You know, that's what we call uh, your man and our man. Okowawa, okomiwa. You know, there's a way you say okomi, okomi. There's a way okowani. One of my pastor friends, when he died, the wife didn't have a child. They have a building. They have some cars. It was at the burial site. The family members brought a woman with a son. Ah, taleni, taleni. That lady, I pity her. Because she spent her life on that man. That man was my friend. She spent her life. If I tell you her background, he's somebody you will know. But I won't say it to you online. She spent her life on that man. But the family said... The only child is the owner of all the property. So she had to come and start, she had to start life all over again. Wisdom is profitable to direct. Am I clear? And listen, you have a husband that is wasteful. Wisdom should tell you that you should begin to have secret savings. You know why you should have secret savings? You should be having it because in the future there could be. His lifestyle could bring cause harm. And uh, the family will have no, have no... There are some men, when things go wrong, because of when they say, I have a father, I have a I have a father, 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 I have a You know, there will be no, nothing to fall back to or to kick up again. That's why you need to prepare for those rainy days. As you are relating with that man, be thinking and be planning and like I, I, we, she said, make sure you carry your mentor along. That in case if that man eventually find out, ah, there should be somebody that he has respect for that can come into the matter and say, I was, I'm aware. I'm aware that this thing happened. To protect him. Am I communicating? Sister, if you are not satisfied with the character of that bro, don't marry him. Go ahead though. If you are not satisfied with the character of that lady, that's problem. But what he saying to me. Uh listening to me, I should do learn where to repair it well in. Well, visit Leore, why need be tea a wet in Ruamala. To the fellow beauty, to be to be kissy. Oh, my okay, yeah, we know the lady. You know, our best in it be a dear, dear. Am I communicating quickly? There's no time. Let her be going through those questions now. Here, I just want to show you this. We are looking at uh, uh, the, the way divorce is increasing now, divorce is too much, even in the church. Let's look at the cause of divorce. And one of the ways by which we can prevent it. Hallelujah. Let's look at the cross of divorce. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Let's start from there. I'll just take it within 5 to 10 minutes. The truth about divorce and how uh, to cure it. Now look at the scripture. Amos 3, 3 says, Can two walk 
together except they what? They be agreed. Give us message Bible. Except they be agreed. That is the be in agreement. Look at message Bible. Do two people work hand in hand? If they aren't going to the same place, I love this one. Now, what is the reason for divorce? When we have a couple, that is husband and wife, that don't agree. They have issues that they don't agree on. Now, that's the cause for divorce. They have issues, but they have not come to agreement. Now, what's agreement? When two people see things in the same way. When two people have the same destination. It be fun, Lonnie. So, the number one reason for divorce is when there is no longer agreement. A does not like the way B is behaving. B does not like the way uh, A is talking. C is no longer satisfied with the way E is dressing and things like that. So, the source of divorce is disagreement. When agree uh, disagreement becomes consistent, it is consistent, it is continuous. Now, it will get to a point... Parties will say, I have seen people in the church, in the church, this church that we pastor, please check that child that is outside. There is one child outside, yeah. I have seen people in the church that I, even in this church, decide to say, Pastor, we are, some of them will just call me and tell me, we are no longer living together, we have separated. Even with children, uh, I have decided to take the children to my side. In fact, one, even after they separated, I've, I've, I'm still talking, trying to talk to her. The next thing, police just came. And the husband called me, sir. Police are in my house now. I said they should give the phone to the police officers. What happened? They said the wife came and told them that he's no longer interested. That she, so he wants to, he want, she, want, she came to the house to pack all the load. TV, generator, and other things. I told the officer, do you know what you are doing is illegal? After talking to the officers, I said, okay, uh, we want him to come to the station. I called the brother of the lady. That if I come to station, there will be trouble. Uh, Pastor, we don't want you to come. I say, if they lock this man up, I will come to station. He says, sir, sir uh, we don't want to lock him up. We only want him to take responsibility of the three children. I said, he cannot take responsibility. Ah, the brother said, why? I said, because he did not drive them out. She took the children out. If they want him to take responsibility... Let them bring his children to his house. He didn't say he's tired. So they went to the station. They played some pranks. They said he should make some. Uh, 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 he should write some things on paper. He'll be giving them so and so amount. I told him write. That's what we call writing things under duress. When we get to court, you say they force you to write it. Write, sign anything. They sign. You'll be paying fifteen, fifteen thousand every month. So when they left, at the end of the month, the man called me. Says, sir. Even me myself, I never see fifteen thousand. I say how much you get. He said I get two thousand. I say go and pay it. I say even if you have the fifteen thousand, don't pay it, so that she will realize the heat and bring the children back. Now, why did it get to that? They are both Christians, so why did it get to that point? Disagreements. God says He hates divorce. Now, when it is like this, how do we prevent divorce? How do we reach agreement? Let's take it. I'll take, tell you four things. How do we reach agreement in marriage? Number one, you must be open for agreement first. See, if you don't want settlement, there can never be settlement. What's number one? You must be open for it. You can't have what you are not open to receive. That's one thing you must know. When they were separating, I did everything to talk to the lady. Cool down. Your husband is begging you. The man will straight in the bedroom. Yeah, please don't go. He will prostrate in the toilet. He will prostrate in the passage. He will prostrate on the road. Ah, ah. I now ask her, what do you want? You know why they could not save that marriage? Because one side did not agree. It's not that we don't have disagreements in our house. 20 years marriage. We still have disagreements. We still argue. But when we argue, see, and I notice that both of us, eh, both of us, we want to agree. The only thing is that we have points in our mind that we want to say out. 
Yoruba ni ti aba ju abebe soke. Le me kini. Mi gbo. Ni gba igba, ibolu ma ma vinile. Idi pele be ni. So most people do, the problem is that why there is misunderstanding in so many of your homes is that most of you don't want to settle. Come down from the place of fight. Most times it is after separation that most couples regret. I, I was speaking with one of the one of our men. He he has had marriage before. So when he was angry, he was telling me, he said, ah, ah, ah. My former wife did not do this to me. I mean, I'm quick to pick words. And I answered him. I said, maybe this one is punishment of your former <laughs> of the sins of, with your former wife. I said, yes. See, I would feel that feeling of Bashiba is saying, we are here sharing the fear alone village for me. And we just laughed over it. You can't have agreement if you don't seek for agreement. All these aluta continue spirits. It doesn't work in marriage. Ah, ah, shoti rei, kwe rei miu, ashe shebe reini. It doesn't last. There are times in our disagreements that it may be when we are going to, uh, I'm going out of the room, she's coming to the room, la ma fek, begba la wa, ibe la ma, kare, kilo nshe, kilo nshe. Elo mi te ba che ba, she li ke kilo nshe, i jashe shebe reini. Ma fa, Listen, you that are young, start to conquer that nature from now that you are young. Don't, don't see if you like prolong to prolong fight, you can't enjoy marriage. I'm talking to the youths now. You want Kimbe, only one ah ah, nearly walk on one mommy, you want Kimbe me. Eh? Oh, le penli o ko. To ba de joko kon ni e o le ni yawo kan. O mo ki won kin be mi. That's one of my daughters. I won't look at her direction. O no man binu gan. Until when the mom was telling me that igba tu wa nke kere daddy was okay prophecy. O ko wa ni won gbodo man no mo ni okay. Emi a gba ile lowe. That nobody used to beat her. I will work on her. She must conquer it. In marriage, hear me. You must leave us forgive us. These 20 years, we've had several several misunderstandings. Several. If I mean gone what we into my family misunderstanding, I'm born church in me. I want you to make up. I mean, I didn't misunderstand the day no no church. I shall we we so that the Holy Spirit can see use us. We said to. To tell your neighbor, Aluta must not continue. What's number one? Be open for it. What's number two? Now let's go to number two. Be willing to allow a spiritually matured third party to help you balance the truth between you and your spouse. Let me come again. Be willing to allow a spiritually matured third party to help you balance the truth between you and your spouse. Now, what does that mean? At times, hear me, your spouse has some things in mind that is irritating him, but does not know how to tell you. At times, he tells you, but you don't agree. How this one, I'm going to say, hey, you know, that's your worry, hey, you know, that's your worry. Oda, kutunda. Oda, in the sense that, like me and my wife now, like I told you, Maybe because of the way we give our life to Christ from childhood age. Conscience is very active. When we have misunderstanding, we know how to call ourselves. But there are some of you, your husband or your wife cannot do what is, is annoying him. In such a case, hear me. In such a case, allow a spiritually mature third party to come in. Now listen. And when that spiritually uh, mature third party comes in, Allow him to express his opinion. Ewo, ewo. Bola, me like it. Me like it. Ba olushi mama call the quarter to twelve. Nkoton doni ye. Jeko so. But elumi mama, ah, eh, eh, oh, she to twelve. Ah, oh, tiri ngongo. Man, she call the twelve thirty. Oh, fair peace ni ye. 
Hello, am I communicating? Hello, me and ah, ah, go back. She didn't mean to fool pastor. Ah, who touched him? Because he probably ah, let's show him more. Touch him, I'm alone. You have killed her from expressing. And if she does not express, it will be boiling inside. One day she might wake up and stab you. So allow a spiritually mature third party. And listen, when that third party comes, keep quiet. Some of you, when the spiritually mature third party comes into your mother and your husband or your wife is expressing, you'll be saying, oh, me ba, me ba. You know, she will like Jeku so. Hello, I'm showing you what has kept us 20 years. There are some of you, your, your spouse, your husbands talk to us, but they can't talk to you. Some of them, your husband will be saying, ah, ah, who they share me, papa, who they share, who they, who they hurt me. And I always like to listen when I hear somebody say, who they hurt me. And at times when we now call the other party, come, sit down. Your husband said this thing hurt him. Hello, me, I told you, ah, continue, ring, go, Man, she told you, Let's take number three. We don't have time. We have exceeded time. Three, I'll stop at four. Sincerely work on yourself. To conquer the natures that irritates your spouse. Con sincerely work on yourself. To conquer the nature that irritates your spouse. Or else your crisis will continue. Now that thing he has told you in the presence of a third party. Or he told you one on one. Don't argue it. He has just told you, I don't like this thing. I don't like it. You know what you should do? When he has told you that he doesn't like it, work on yourself. Ah, there are times that my wife has called me and sat me down. Honey, honey, I don't like this and this. But to me, I'm a free person. And what is that thing? Charity, man, man, catch it. Mama, man, catch it. Mama, so far, man, my wife will say, see, why not use it first? Let it work for you very well. But me, I thought, in those days, I used to think, ah, it's because I'm free now, I have to tell everybody everything. Until, you know, I, I, I discovered that it's one of the things the devil used to block me. To the glory of God, I work on myself. And when we have misunderstanding, look up, look, look up. One thing with me is if I say, 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 but inside of me, I'll be boiling. Until one day she now said, She will give me the like where she man that care. If you know what you mean, the like you first attack, tell you no man. So she too had to work on herself. When I say I want to see her, she'll keep quiet. She'll be laughing. Man, you will let her in. One year, ah. Timbaleni, you will learn. Are you getting what I'm saying? We can work on ourselves. Let's take the last one. She will read out the questions. Four. Then begin to actively pray for each other. Begin to actively pray for yourselves. Pray for your partner. Marriage is a journey of destiny. It's not a stroll. If Jesus studies and you people live long, it's a journey that you are going to live for the rest of your life. Why I pray for my partner? All of my jackie should lose me. Are you are, are you learning? By next week, I've told her we are talking on these divorce things, how to prevent it. I just opened it today. You keep praying for yourselves. The Lord will help us. Are you blessed?
Have you learned some? Let's see those questions. How many are they? I'll read it. Give her one microphone. Ma, some brothers are full of pretense. They show extreme care during courtship. But the moment they get married to the lady, they show their true color. I have a friend like that. Her fiance used to be hand walking and I mean, hard working, sorry, and calling. He cooks for her while dating. That's courtship. But now in the marriage, he doesn't assist her in any house work. How do we undo such case? That's one. Can you endure with a man before enjoying with him? If you are convinced spiritually and confused physically about the man, what would you do? That's a powerful question. Convinced spiritually and confused spiritually, physically. Let me answer this one. I want to answer this one. You know why I need to answer this one? If the physical aspect of a man is confusing, you need counsel. What we cannot answer it generally is that some people can be and so much better than spiritual that you think they are trying spiritual and they may not be spiritual. Have you watched a drama? Dramas before? When you think that some people are they, they act the role of pastor, but they are not, they are Muslims. So why is it if you are the person that will be so in counseling? There are certain things you need to observe in people. Number one, when you are dating, I always tell people, if you attend the same church, make time to see the pastor of your church. To ask some tactical questions about the person you are dating. One of the marriages that crashed in our church, the one I told you three years, I told them from the beginning. When the both of them came to church, this man, I don't know. This marriage, I don't see it working. They said, What did I say? I said, I don't know, but this thing is wrong. They left our church, they went to get married. She got pregnant and came back to our church. But it was after 10 years the marriage crashed. Now, there was another one too. They were dating. And they kept having misunderstandings. Imagine you are dating and you beat yourselves. I called the brother. I said, see, bro, stop this relationship. It will not work. He said, why? I said, see, you have not reached agreement in courtship. You can't reach agreement. Anything you didn't settle in courtship, it grows in marriage. I think it was the, after one year, they beat themselves. The marriage scattered till today. So if you are confused, come for counsel. Say your confusion, the things that's getting you confused. Because at times, some men are disciplined. They love you. But they still have their ego with them. Such men need to be worked upon. You know, some men, they, they can't say sorry. Some men cannot help you to lift a, a bag. They need to be worked upon. You need to leave them for a while. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, you need counseling. If you're that, that person. This one says, we all know that nobody is perfect. And there, there's no marriage without challenges. So is it compulsory for a man or a lady to marry from church? Because I have seen some couples that didn't marry a church sister or brother. And their marriage is working he healthy. While I have seen some people who married church sister and brother, but yet the marriage collapsed upon all the teachings and counselings. Now, it is what you have seen from the, uh, uh, 
TV. That's what we call behind the scene. A couple could be fighting and you won't know. Number one, nobody says you should marry from the church. That's one. From the church you attend. But what mama is saying, don't marry a non-believer. The spirit in the unbeliever is not the spirit of God. Don't marry from other religion. You know why you should not marry from other religion? The reason is because they, they have their, the teachings they follow. When it gets to a point in their, they will follow their pattern. And when it gets to that point, who will you call? And if you see unbelievers, you say, ah, their marriage is working. Their marriage is working. That's what you see. Not what is happening. It may not be what is happening inside their house. But if you marry a born again Christian, God is leading you. You follow the path of pure uh, 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 courtship. You follow the principles that you are supposed to follow. You do your part. I'm telling you the fact. You will enjoy marriage. So quickly answer that one in two minutes. Ma, my brothers, men, uh, so, some brothers are full of pretense. You know the question. Answer, answer. Hallelujah. It says, some brothers are full of pretense. They show extreme care during courtship, but the moment they get married to the lady, they show their true colors. I have a friend like that. Her friends used to be hardworking and caring. He cooks for her while dating and courting. But now, in their marriage, he doesn't assist her with any housework. How do we handle such case now? Now, the point is, the man, the brother, get discouraged somewhere. Hmm. You know, there was a, lady, a sister, one of our brothers here in the church. He too decided to do the same according to what was written here. And when I called the brother, ah, what happened? You have changed. He said, Mama, yes, I have to change. Do you know at times when there is no water at home and I will not be at home, my wife will decide to wait until when I come back. She will not call me. You get the person discouraged. What is the meaning of that? Is it because he's doing that before? Hmm. You will not need to wait for him to come and fetch water for you. You want to cook. And that's because he, he's not at home. You refuse to cook. I won't lie. I'm a woman too. I've been married for 20 years. There are some things that I do at times. Inside my heart, I will know that. But she not part of it. She not part of it. Okay. For example, in my, in my, home, my own house, like my house, she doesn't we don't even allow her to touch the kitchen. Talk less of cooking for us. Mm. And who does that? My husband. Somebody will say, why? He loves cooking. I have tried and tried to stop him. But you know what I used to do for him? I will go and stay with him. I want your mercy. I will not say because he likes to cook. I will not stay on the bed. Change. Go and check yourself. It's not only about pretense. You have done something that makes the man to say, ah, ah. Oh, be so, so, he has been doing that during courtship. Then check. Something went wrong. With style, with style, talk to him. He will, he will answer you. And two, two of you will resolve the matter. Let's rise up. Let's rise up. Rise up, rise up. What she said, make me to remember one case like that. You remember the case, continue to rise. The, the, man, the man beats the woman and they brought themselves to my presence. Ah, ah, kilo de. Ah, uti lume, uti lume pa, uti lume pa, uti lume pa. Kofi ba Michelle, money ko wear for omo, omo wa. Be last one wa. Lo be resi ni lumi. And now, when the man now came, what happened? Only Papa. E mi no mo kuku wear for omo mi lati le. But this particular day, oh Remy, mo walori bed. O kon de, o lo share mi mo no 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 shi to nsu. So ni de ko walo we for money. O ni de de walo we for almost. O kon sound strange. Leti on kwe a she in kontan we be on she ni. Ya show ti so on dig be udani ni. Ah ah, you rubbish wo ti lele. You know he said the thing now started making different type of meaning started coming to it. 
So he didn't stand up. He said, and sir, ask her, my boxer that she has torn is over 100. He said, so he came again, she came again, jacked me on the bed. Did they? Look back to four, took the boxer and tore it as usual. Make it 101. Only Papa Moan, no. So, if you know, I need to be a lot of security, no. Money about much to get to you. Ah, make me to remember one of our sister like that. They called me to come, and when I got it, the husband tied her like this. And put her on the one side of the bed. You know, it was Yahweh. 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 Praise the Lord. Are you blessed? So see, if a man is doing, uh, working at home, it is not his job. Because school. To run Jessie, I want to think she buys me. Tony, ma, a kiss a co billion child day. But you yourself know that how much is a man earning? See, if you sit down to analyze what a responsible man is spending on the family, it's not easy. There are times he wants to eat pepper soup, he can't eat it. Imagine, he was here where just soon, Lale, was of like 2000, the wall of all. He was chilling around. He was able to get 5000. See, let's show she said no, Lale. You know, it, it happens. That's the truth. I'm a married man. So, if you, you have a husband that is assisting you, don't take him for a ride. Hmm? Appreciate him. And even if you want to tell him to do it, look for sweet words. To tell him, he will encourage him. He will do that same thing that he doesn't want to do. Are you blessed? Let's thank God for the spirit of counsel.